All right, we're now going to inscribe a square and a circle using a compass and a straight edge. And at the end, we're going to hopefully have this square touching the circle in all four points. So we're going to follow these directions real carefully. The first is we're going to draw a chord and label it XY. You can actually put it wherever you want, but I always like to put it near the bottom. It doesn't matter how big it is, it just needs to be connecting two points on the circle. And we're going to label it X and Y. Alright, let's look at the second step. We're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the chord where it crosses the circle is going to be a diameter. So the perpendicular bisector, um, I used to call that the fish mo method, where you're going to put your compass point on one of your points, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to open it up more than halfway and make a big sweeping arc that goes above and below. And then you're going to carefully pick it up and turn it around so that you don't change the width of the compass and make that same arc going the other way. Meadows likes to call it the fish. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect those two, but make it go all the way up to the other side of the circle. The top and the bottom here. Okay, so it says up here where it crosses the circle is going to be a diameter. So we need to very carefully label where that's going to be. I'm going to use a marker for that. And we're going to label it um, AB. So up here crosses the circle A. And then down here we've got a lot of crosses. We want to look at where it crosses the circle down here is going to be B. Okay, so that's a diameter because we made sure it was perpendicular to a chord and we talked about that before. Third step, turn your paper 90 degrees and we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of diameter AB. So we're going to turn the paper around and now we're going to take this diameter and do the fish going this way. So put your compass point on A or B, it doesn't matter which one. Open it up more than halfway. Make big sweeping arc. Oops. I'm a little bit off there, sorry. and move it around to A, make that same exact arc, and we're going to connect where it crosses on the circle, and we're going to connect the top and bottom of this fish, and where it crosses on the circle we're going to call it C and D. Let's turn it back around, and we're going to go ahead and make A, B, nice and dark also. You want to take that, uh, make sure that original chord XY is nice and light because that doesn't really help us with the square. Okay, so we turned our paper, we constructed the perpendicular bisector and we're going to la we labeled the new diameter CD. So what we've just now created are two diameters but they're very special. They're perpendicular diameters. So there's a right angle right in here and we're gonna stop right there. You don't actually have the square yet, but you're almost there. Can you see what we need to do to make that square? Talk with your group members and figure out how you can make that square.